Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over how to add voiceover to your Google slide presentation and you can get some fantastic voiceovers. Obviously you're going to need Google Drive and your Google Slides have those completed and aside from that I'm also going to be using Murph. If you look in the description and give that a click you can actually get a free trial for them to test them out. They have some of the best voiceovers and what I'm going to be doing is following their instructions that they give you just to show you step by step. Also something I want you to keep in mind is that make sure you have all of your slides complete first. I'm just showing you using a couple of slides because once you know how to do it for a few slides, it's going to be the same exact for doing it many more. So let's take a look at what Murph has to say in terms of adding this on. So first you want to install the Google Slides Murph add-on from here. This is something I've already done, which is why it says uninstall, but normally you'll click on the install button. And of course you can log in with your Google profile and that will hook up with the Google Slides right here. Once you are there, what you want to do is click on add-ons go to Murph and then click on open Murph. Once again, like I said, make sure that you have all your slides done. It's probably going to be easiest that way because when it opens up, it's going to match up with all these slides that you've created. So let's click on this. Okay, and if you notice, I have five slides here. There's going to be five slides there, but I believe if you add more, it's going to add with it, which is always good. Now let's get to the good stuff. We can actually click on here if we want to change the voices. I've gone through these. They are Some of these are just excellent. Let me give you an example of one. Uh, there's a female one I really like. It sounds like a cat commercial just to kind of give you an idea of the quality. I'm going to click on play so you can hear it. Introducing Perfect Meal, a special formula for your feline made that one is excellent. I'm going to be using, uh, I think it's Ethan. Also, what you can do is when you select one, you can do apply to all slides. So what that means is you can use one voice for one slide. And if you want to change it up, you can do them differently like that. But for all of them, it's just going to be Ethan. Okay. So let's just click on this. So that's there. And what you want to do is go through each of the slides and simply enter the text that's going to correspond with that. So give me a second. I'm going to cut out this section, but I'll show you what it looks like. And obviously we'll go through the next steps after I'm done with this. All right, so now that I've completed that, I'm just going to kind of give you an example of what I put here. Keep in mind, this is nothing that would normally go there. Like I just did it quickly, but it's just in line at least with what the slides have to say. So hello, my name is James and welcome to my YouTube marketing strategy presentation. Also, once you have something you like, you can click on this button. It's kind of a way of rendering each section. So if that's something you want to do, uh, you can do that as well. Once that's done, let's move to the next section as well. And you'll notice it says play there. We can actually test it out. I'm going to let you hear it once we get to the end uh, next. So if you click on this, it's going to match up with that. Did you know that almost 5 billion videos are watched daily on YouTube? Let's give a little render for that section. Next up, this is just kind of a funny thing where a lot of people say don't sleep on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram and uh, just something funny I put there. Uh, once again, I'm going to render that one and I'm going to do the same for the last two uh, and then I'll show you what we can do next. Okay, so overall, like I said, in this example, there's only five slides, but pretending you have maybe 20, 30, 40, 50, you're going to do that through all of them. If you already have the text, that's great. You can just paste it into each section. Like maybe you had the text here. You can just put it in right there. So now that we have everything done, all we need to do is click on the build video and let's give it some time. It might take 30 seconds, could take a minute. Obviously, the more slides you have, the longer it's going to take for it to render overall. But let's click on the build video and wait. Okay, and the video has been created. So there's a few things we can do. We can view video, we can download video, and we can edit the video in studio in Murph exactly. So I'm sure you're dying to see what it's going to look like. So let's click on view video and let's just watch it through. And let's click play. Hello, my name is James and welcome to my YouTube marketing strategy presentation. Did you know that almost 5 billion videos are watched daily on YouTube? How many times have you heard this from a guru before? So here is what I will be covering in this YouTube marketing presentation. So what exactly is YouTube and why is it so important for your online business? Hey, perfect. Not bad at all. So that was the video. And of course, like we said, we can download this video or we can click on edit video in studio. And if I do that, I'll show you what it looks like. You get taken pretty much to like the Murph dashboard where you can edit things around. Uh, you can explore the voices, import scripts, add media voice changer. And if you look at it down below, it has all the text and the audio. And of course, it has the slides. So it's very nicely done for us here. So if you wanted to edit it that way, you could. You could manually add in the pictures, some more text, change around, obviously, the uh, the voice 
resources. It's really going to be up to you, but that's kind of the final thing you would do. Obviously, you can save it, go from there, and pretty much the uh, possibilities are endless. But overall, that's how you can add a voiceover to a Google slide presentation, whether it's shorter or longer. Obviously, that's going to be up to you. I hope you got some value out of this video, and I hope that it helps you when it comes to adding voiceovers to your Google slides. The voices in Murph are fantastic, especially a lot of the pro ones. Either way, if you want to try them out, the free trial link will be in the description. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment down below. And that's about it. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.